we start our process of, first of all, transcribing the, uh, the conversations, if they're voice or video. We actually understand what's happening in these conversations. And once you understand and transcribe, then it's a very short path to actually making, taking the next step to actually understanding what is good, what is bad. Why is that salesperson succeeding where that salesperson isn't? Is this deal going to close or is it not? And we've built a suite of applications that together make revenue intelligence platform that take you hand in hand from the inception of a deal, the stage that we call prospecting, until the deal completion and the account management. All of that is done within Go. Oad Parush, welcome to 20 Minute Leaders. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'm really, really happy to have you here, Chief Fire the Officer of Gong. Uh, such an amazing company, really a company that a, that led and, and, and started this this whole category, which today is so exciting for all of us. I think at this point, you know, pretty much it's become a commonplace for all of us to be using these different AI tools to be able to analyze conversations, meetings, experiences. But Gong really has been a pioneer in this space uh, and, and a, a big pride of, of the Israeli ecosystem, of course. And and I've always been so fascinated about about the engineering behind Gong and the R and D and and the novelty of what you're doing. So so thank you again for being here. Uh, thank you, Michael. Thank you for having me, and thank you for uh, the words of praise for uh, Gong and our R and D. Um, I'm really proud to be part of Gong, and I feel fortunate to uh, be part of and lead uh, the R and D at Gong. I joined Gong about four and a half years ago. Uh, Gong itself is has been around for over eight years. Um, so we started. Uh, doing AI when no one actually knew what AI meant. Uh, and we're still doing AI and we're at the forefront of everything that's AI around uh, um, conversations, understanding them, uh, assigning meaning, and also providing guidance and insights on top of these conversations. So for those of you who don't know, uh, the Gong story is, is very simple. Uh, it all started with Amit, our CEO, that was, at the time he was the CEO of another company, <clears throat> And he had a problem because he wasn't really, uh, uh, you know, sure what is happening with uh, his sales team. You know, he was getting information from the CRM. He was getting kind of, uh, kind of anecdotal information from his uh, sales team, but he didn't actually know why some of his products were not selling. He didn't have the, the actual data. The lack of data is something that uh, uh, is, is problematic if you need to make the right decisions. So um, um, long story short, he and Elon Reshef, our uh, chief product officer, they started Gong. Gong is all about capturing all the conversations around the sales process. In conversations, it can mean, you know, calls, emails, um, Slack messages, um, SMSs, everything around uh, that happens in the uh, in the ecosystem around the uh, uh, the sales process. Obviously, we combine that with uh, the CRM information, which gives you the context around uh, uh, the sales, and then. We start our process of, first of all, transcribing the, uh, the conversations, if they're uh, um, um, voice or video. We actually understand what's happening in these conversations. And once you understand the transcribe, uh, then uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a very short path to actually making, you know, taking the next step to actually understanding what is good, what is bad. Why is that salesperson succeeding where that salesperson isn't? Um, is this deal going to close or is it not? Um, and we've been, built a suite of applications that together make uh, what we call the revenue intelligence platform uh, that take you uh, um, hand in hand from the inception of a deal, from the, uh, uh, the stage that we call prospecting until the deal completion and the account management. All of that is done within Gong. Now, the interesting thing about Gong is that, you know, uh, our engineering is, uh, uh, you know, actually I'll tell you an interesting story. When I joined Gong, uh, about three months after I joined, one of the engineers asked me, you know, why is it that you joined Gong? You know, I came from Akamai, an amazing company. I moved to Gong, a small startup at the time. I um, mean, he asked me, why did I join Gong? And, and I told him, first of all, this is a very blunt question after I just joined. Um, secondly, uh, I have three, three good reasons. And, and w what I answered then is, is actually very valid today as well. The first one is that Gong has an amazing technology and we're looking at scale, which is, you know, it's, it's quite amazing. Millions of calls and conversations that we ingest, that we process, um, you know, we're best friends with uh, AWS. We run on AWS mostly uh, on other clouds as well. So the immense uh, uh, platform that we've built 
the resilience, the scalability, the stability, and, and the various uh, features and, and services that we run is, is quite amazing, state of the art. So technology has always uh, kind of attracted. The second thing is the AI. We have kind of world-class AI, and that was, you know, even before Gen AI, which we're using heavily today, and we can talk about that. Um, and, you know, we're using AI, we're using NLP, we're using classifier, we're using transcription, state-of-the-art uh, uh, predictive modeling. All of that is part of our um, uh, tradition and part of our culture. And the third thing, and this is where the magic is, that at the end of the day, everything is served to the customer in such a pleasant and simple-to-use way which makes the whole process and the whole ingenuity that's within Gong actually seem as though it's very seamless and easy to consume and use and make you, the seller, much better than you would have been without Gong. So the combination of uh, an amazing technology, uh, outstanding AI, but simplicity at the end of the day is something that uh, to me is, is unique and very rare in our industry. And obviously to, to be part of this R&D, to lead this R&D that actually takes this and makes this a reality is, uh, um, to me, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's actually almost like a dream come true. <laughs> What's been happening over the last uh, few, I guess, two, three years with obviously the emergence of, of tools in the context of, of deep learning and, and today generative AI, how has, you know, Gong's been operating well before that and fulfilling on a lot of promises uh, in AI before that, before this, this spike now, how, how has this changed or or evolved you know gong's uh, gong's vision or or gong's day-to-day -day operations so the interesting thing is that our vision hasn't changed um the emergence emergence of this new technology is now enabling us to uh, um, implement our vision faster than uh, we would have been uh, able otherwise because you know we've always um, taking the the point of understanding conversations, understanding concepts within conversations, uh, understanding the semantics of the conversations. Uh, but now with Gen AI, uh, we can actually take this uh, a step further and actually generate uh, content, whether it's uh, summarizations of calls or summarizations of other uh, aspects within, you know, a deal or a, 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 an interaction. Uh, but it's also helping you with generate, you know, emails, generate content that you want to send out to your uh, customers and prospects. Now, if you combine it all together, uh, the, the the important thing is that, you know, Gen AI is used very, you know, everyone is using it uh, today uh, wherever you can. But it, it's, in order to use it wisely, it's a combination of, first of all, having the right data. And Gong has all the data because we have thousands of customers and we have the data so you can actually generate meaningful insights and meaningful data uh, on top of the data that you created. You uh, Using Gen AI in a very, you know, moderate and wise manner because Gen AI, you know, it has many, many limitations and we can talk about that later. You know, it's, I think it's a theme for us, uh, a whole episode. Um, it's also very costly if you're using it at the scale that Gong is using and it's also not consistent. And the last thing is also understanding, you know, what to do when Gen AI just fails you. And because we have an amazing research group, we can actually augment uh, the concepts of Gen AI and the capabilities that Gen AI has in order to bring functionality into the world, which Gen AI is, is incapable, at least at the moment, in doing in a very reliable and consistent manner. And if you combine it all together, you're actually getting an experience which is powered by Gen AI but takes you to a different level across the whole uh, uh, journey, the sales journey from, uh, you know, from the uh, prospecting phase until uh, uh, a deal is closed and managed and so on. So uh, amazing. It, it, it sounds really, uh, it sounds really fascinating. You know, take me a little bit to your background. So, you know, your upbringing, your, your curiosity and interest in R&D over the time and how, and up until four and a half years ago when you joined Gong, how, how has this sort of intersected with your own personal path and career leading up to here? That's a, uh, that's an interesting question. You know, I, I just checked before the interview and I've been in this industry for 27 years. Um, and it's, you know, it daunts me when I, when I say this number, it's, uh, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm older than 27. Um, but, uh, 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 I've been, you know, in the army. I was in, in an intelligence unit before that. I did just uh, regular uh, matriculation. I wasn't uh, a computer geek. 
Uh, after the army uh, in university, I studied uh, computer science and statistics and operations research, and then I essentially started my journey. And I, the wonderful thing I think about the uh, the uh, the job that we do is that you can actually jump from domain to domain, from area to area, and you can you know obviously you need to understand the domain, but it's actually like entering a whole new world and bringing meaning and understanding into that world. So I've I was fortunate to. Uh, uh, in you know, beginning of my career, I was part of Technomatics, which did uh, uh, robotics, and then mm -hmm. I was uh, 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 doing some optimizations around uh, um, antennas for uh, the mobile uh, industry. At the time, I was doing insurance software um, in uh, actually in the UK. So I spent four years in the UK, and then I had a run of around twelve years doing cybersecurity. So I was uh, um, um, about five and a half years at Imperva. Uh, I managed a group, and then I was chief architect at Imperva, and then after that, I was managing the uh, uh, the R and D of the web security uh, division in uh, at Akamai. So, twelve years in cybersecurity. After twelve years, I felt like I needed kind of a pause. I wanted to uh, to check my options. I felt like I I was in my comfort zone, so I took some time off, and that's when I met uh, Amit and Elon. I never heard about Gong before I joined Gong. But the minute I heard about the story, it clicked. And uh, uh, it's so, you know, kind of enriching uh, to, uh, um, you know, I love cybersecurity. But at the end of uh, the, the day, cybersecurity, you know, it's always, you know, you chase the bad guys, you try to find ways to uh, to block them, to uh, to see how, how they wouldn't be able to attack and penetrate your systems. Suddenly, moving to Gong, it's all about creativity. It's all about creating and enabling the salespeople to be a better version of themselves. Uh, it's like a whole new world. So I, I feel fortunate to be in uh, a company like Gulp that uh, is so creative and brings so much value to its customers. Um, and it takes us to a uh, uh, whole different depth. So obviously, with the, uh, no, we, we store, I always call it the crown jewels of our customers. So as far as data, you know, we have their deal information, their CRM information, their conversation. So having a background in cybersecurity always helps me, obviously helps me to uh, understand how, you know, we need to tackle security as well. But in general, this whole, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, journey, um, I'm very happy with where I am. And uh, I feel like uh, Gong is is uh, an amazing place uh, to be and, and to grow. Incredible. Ad, uh, thank you for, for spending this time with me and for sharing uh, a little bit of the story of Gong and your own personal excitement. Uh, I, I wish uh, for every engineer, uh, but whether it's an uh, entry level engineer all the way to an engineer lead leader to to feel the feelings that you're expressing here about uh, the company that you're with and that you're helping lead. So thank you again for the time and for the inspiration. Obviously, best of luck with everything that's happening with Gong continuing on the rocket ship. And uh, thank you for making the time here. Uh, my pleasure, Michael. And uh, thank you again for having me. And uh, I hope we'll uh, we'll be able to do this again in the future. Absolutely.